You guys, I know y'all gonna see the glare from the ring light, but I love them. I need you, yeah, I really do. Tell me what to do. Okay. Tell me what to do. Okay. Tell me what to do. All I know is hit the mall and see what damage. Hey guys, here's a little tutorial from me, DSJ, on how to do these boho twists. You're gonna need magic fingers, beeswax, Cuban twists, rubber bands, a rat tail, crochet needle. Here is where you want someone to help you part your hair. Here is where I needed my daughter to do my boxing and my parting because I cannot see in the back. And for her very first time, she did okay. She's learning. Thank you. Now right here, we're showing off the parts. They came out crisp and they're meant to be big because I think it's about 15 or 16 in this one. So yeah, that's what we're going with. Okay, here is not where we get to the nitty gritty. I already started one. Oh my God, one of my parts bigger, but it's okay. It's okay. You're gonna take your Cuban twist hair. And you gotta take your crochet needle. Oh my God, this part here is so easy. Y'all remember getting crochet back in the days for my 90s? Bad, no, really, my 80s babies. 90s too, but y'all remember getting crochet? Like, <laughs> it was so funny. But to know that we're really using that needle now. Okay, so you're gonna take the end of the hair, make sure it clamps down before you pull it through the um, rubber band. See, make sure it's clamp and you're gonna pull through. And also make sure that your ends, I mean, make sure your two pieces meet. So make sure that they are very even at the bottom. Take your beeswax, yes, we use beeswax as well so that we can keep the twist in but I noticed with the Cuban twist hair, you really didn't need it. And also, make sure you comb out the ends because for some reason, they're um, not, I want to say burnt. Some of them was kind of burnt, but they're really hard at the end. But you want those untwist. To get in a perfect twist, you want to go tight as possible to the next twist. You see how I'm going? As tight as possible. And I know how to do this so well because my girls, they stay with twists in their hair, with their own hair before I started doing this. So make sure it's tight as possible to the next twist. And again, I'm starting from the top. Make sure we get in there good and clean. See my parts. And this is my very first time doing this. So do not get um, discouraged to think that you cannot do it. You really can do it. It's very, um, how you say it? Um, <laughs> newbie friendly. Very much newbie friendly. Very easy. See, I'm lining it up right now. And make sure that you don't get your hair caught into going down also. Because your hair will get tangled going down into it if you don't watch it. It look like I got a perm, but I actually don't. The Magic Fingers works. Okay, see? Take it to a piece, apply your beeswax to both ends. And you see how I'm twisting and turning, and twisting and turning. Y'all get the message, but yes, it's very easy, friendly for you to do. Make sure it's tight. Now y'all see how it's tight? Get there. I'm almost done. I just got one more to do, and then that's it. Voila, magic. Voila, magic. Eh, I already put my three on. Oh, fun fact about doing these. 
I think you're really supposed to do them within doing the twist. My first time doing it and seeing it was a young lady putting it actually through the twist. You see how I'm crocheting it through the twist? Mm -mm, that don't last long. So if you can possibly, um, while you're twisting, adding the hair to the twist, it's going to last and stay forever. Baby, some of them twists was coming out, <laughs> but I did my thing on them and it came out so nice. And you don't always have to perm your hair. Like my hair is not perm, it's freshly washed. So I'll go with that if you, you know, don't want to perm your hair. And it lasted for about two weeks. Yeah, it did last it for two weeks. So, hey. Whether or not you got a tea kettle or you have a cup to put in the microwave, I prefer the tea kettle because it gets really hot. Turn on your stove. Make sure your stove gets to like the highest level. So, you know, see that steam? Let's go, baby. <laughs> I didn't show the process, but I did rod my hair with the flexi rod. So you want to put them in one by one. So here we go. I'm untwisting them. And when I tell you guys, this is minimum time. I want to say it took about an hour and some change. Because when I had to go back to the hair store to get hair because I was short on hair just for maybe two um, twists. <laughs> and yeah, get you some flexi rods. And don't ask me. I know you're going to already ask, but I don't know how to do no baby hairs. So I did the best thing that I could do with what I had. You got to work with what you got to get what you... Yeah, that part. Because I don't know how to do them. Look at... Oh, Lord. Look at... Them. Don't laugh at me. I'm trying. I don't know how to do no damn baby hairs. But I showed laid this how though. Swing, 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 in. Ah, ah, ah. You guys, I know y'all gonna see the glare from the ring light, but I love them. I need to get my lashes done, but I love them. It ain't, it was a minimum time to do. I wanna say. Cause my daughter don't know how to part, don't know how to do none of that. I had to have her part my hair. The back is up, but it's okay. The front is definitely on point, but we're gonna just rock this for about a week or two. Yeah. And if I want them smaller, I get somebody to box me up real fast. Cause I can't do my own boxes, but 
I love it. It's like baby. And I made them kind of long. You put three on each twist. Oh, this is really aggravating me. But uh, yeah. I love the style. I hope you guys love it too. I hope you guys try it out. It's it's really lightweight too. I didn't put that mean. Maybe it's about 16 um twists in here. So this is all these are the bow hole twists or shingles. I don't know how what they call it, but this is what I'm calling it. And you see how long it is? <sighs> <sighs> Oh, oh, I love it, I love it. I wish my daughter could really part, because maybe next time I'll do it a little better. But yeah, this is my first, my second time, because I did it on her hair. I actually like it on her hair, because her hair is actually thick. So it looks really nice, but yeah, we're just gonna mark it for two weeks. Go get our um, lashes, eyebrows, nails, and feet done, you know. Did my little baby hairs. I don't know what I'm doing, but bear with me. But yeah, you guys, I hope and pray you guys like try this out because it's the bee's knees, baby. It's the bees. It is the bees, baby. And it's down now. Eh, eh, eh. 